The One Life Project is an unprecedented initiative being undertaken by the National Ambulance Service to increase out-of-hospital cardiac arrest survival rates in Ireland. The primary focus is on improving how out-of-hospital cardiac arrest is recognised, treated and measured, leading to greater ROSC rates and ultimately greater long-term survival for patients. Over the past year, we've engaged with both national and international resuscitation experts. Based on this, we've broken down every step of how the service manages a cardiac arrest, from 999 call to arrival at hospital, and identified areas that we can work on to ultimately improve outcomes. In the months ahead, this will be rolled out by the Medical Directorate and our Education and Competency Assurance Team to every control centre and every ambulance station in the country. This can only work if every one of you embrace the mindset that every cardiac arrest is going to survive, and if not, we ask ourselves, is there anything we can do differently the next time? Expectations become reality. Not everyone in cardiac arrest will survive, but if there is a mindset that they will, behaviour will be altered to make it happen. We will all work a little harder and manage these calls a little better. Every time we manage a cardiac arrest, we improve on how we work, both as individuals and as a team. Our expectations change, and in parallel, outcomes improve. More people survive. From the receipt of an emergency call by our control staff and the important instructions they give over the phone, to the patient management when our crews arrive on scene, everyone has a role to play in the success of this project. We will train together and work together, and each time we get a call for cardiac arrest, we would provide the best possible care we can. Our goal is simple, to return as many people in cardiac arrest as possible to their families, neurologically intact and ready to resume their role in society. Let's do this together. The One Life Project has a number of key strands that when brought together will result in improved outcomes from cardiac arrest in Ireland. We will continue to work with external agencies such as the Irish Heart Foundation and the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council to enhance the role of the National Ambulance Service in public awareness campaigns, therefore improving the recognition and action by bystanders. We aim to improve the ability of our control staff to recognise the patient who is in cardiac arrest and to rapidly and appropriately dispatch multiple resources and give clear post-dispatch instructions to the bystander. We aim to improve the quality and dignity of care delivered by National Ambulance Service pre-hospital practitioners at the scene by focusing on teamwork and the best evidence in resuscitation care. We will ensure a coordinated approach to the provision of post-cardiac arrest care and transportation to appropriate facilities. We will streamline systems of data collection feedback information to our crews and publish our results. We are lucky that throughout the National Animal Service we have had some outstanding clinical leaders. Outstanding clinical leaders can instill within their own organisation their vision of high expectations and relentless striving for excellence. They also continue to ask the question, how can the system be improved? Training and continuing education are the vehicles by which expertise and professionalism are brought to every cardiac arrest. The National Ambulance Service is continuously striving to enhance the care we provide to each patient. Our crews attend in excess of 280,000 emergency calls each year. The National Ambulance Service staff enter people's lives in moments of chaos and bring a professional and caring approach. This care begins as soon as the call is received in our control centre and it is a total team effort from then on. We never underestimate the impact we can have on a patient or a family's life. This is never more important than when we respond to a cardiac arrest. This year, the National Ambulance Service is launching the One Life Project. The project is focused on systematically improving our outcomes for patients who suffer an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest in Ireland. To achieve the best outcome for these patients, every aspect of our service must perform to the highest standards. The patient is at the heart of each decision we make and every action counts. The One Life Project not only represents our commitment to improve standards of care, it also represents our commitment to measure and public report on clinical outcomes of patients. By introducing and reporting on clinical outcomes, we challenge ourselves to do better. 
The same model of care used in the One Life project can be used to improve service delivery to the STEMI patient, the stroke patient, the trauma patient in the near future. Together, we can make Ireland a world leader in pre-hospital care. Each member of the National Ambulance Service can make a difference to this project. Thank you for your excellent work to date and continued dedication to the patient and the service. As you can see, each component of the One Life project is integral to its success. During 2014, the NAS will be producing further videos and documents to support the rollout of this project. The key element in improving outcomes from out-of-hospital cardiac arrests in Ireland is teamwork. By working together on each cardiac arrest call, we dramatically increase our chances of saving that one life. We look forward to your continued support and thank you for your hard work to date.